Habitat Elevation just released a new platform update, version 2.3.1. It's available now, and it's available absolutely free to any Habitat Elevation Hub owner. If you want the entire list of improvements, you can see the release notes in the link in the description below. But I want to take a couple minutes right now to go over some of the highlights with you. Kicking things off, we have 25 new compatible devices with this release. These are from some of the biggest names in home automation, including a Ring Outdoor Contact Sensor, Lutron Shade, LifeX 4-Gang Switch, Tuya Water Sensor, and many more. We're now even compatible with an S-Tech Grow Light for those of you who like to grow their own um, herbs. New users will appreciate the new getting started process. It is completely revamped with more clarity and guidance for those who are new to the platform. There are now step-by-step -step walkthroughs for adding devices and for building your first automation in the Basic Rules app. So there's never been a better time to get started with Hubitat Elevation. Z-Wave device users can expect a boost in speed and reliability of their Z-Wave network with a new Z-Wave radio firmware update in 2.3.1. For the technically minded among you, this update prevents devices from swapping your Z-Wave mesh with retries because of missing acknowledgement packets. For the rest of you, it's just better so you should get it. Now this is an optional firmware update, so after you update your hub, you need to go into the Z-Wave details page and select the update firmware button. Now for my personal favorite feature in 231, you can now import rules you've built in the basic rules app or simple automation rules into rule machine. So say you've built a rule to turn a light on and off in basic rules, but now you want to add some conditions or other automations beyond the scope of basic rules. Now rather than rebuilding the whole thing, you can import that rule and build from there. This is also a way for those who are new to Rule Machine to learn the syntax of Rule Machine by importing rules they're familiar with and seeing how they adapt in the new Rule Machine environment. Another new feature in Rule Machine for 231 is the addition of sticky triggers. With the sticky trigger, you can now add a length of time for a device to be in a certain state before it triggers the rule. For example, you can set a light to turn off only after a door has been opened and then stayed open for more than say, two minutes. For a full explanation of sticky triggers and all of the Rule Machine updates, click on the community post in the description below. Finally, if you like color light bulbs, we now have a visual color picker in all of our automation apps. It just makes it so much easier to select the color you want, and I think you're really going to like it. So those are the highlights of the latest 231 release. This is a rather large release with a lot of features and some bug fixes, and I'm not going to bore you with that here, but I do encourage you to check out the release notes to learn everything about this latest release. If you have questions about this release or anything else related to Hubitat, hop on the Hubitat online community at community.hubitat.com. There's already a lot of great discussion going on, so we hope you can be a part of that. And if you don't have a Hubitat Elevation Hub yet, what are you waiting for? Get one, get the update, and enjoy an elevated life. So that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and thanks, as always, for elevating your environment with Hubitat Elevation. <laughs>